In today's episode, we're going to talk about how to calculate how much binding you need for your project. This is going to be straight edge binding, meaning we're going to cut straight strips of fabric and it's great for straight projects. So whether you're doing a placemat, a table runner, or a full quilt, the math is the same. And I have created a cute little printout that you can grab to do all your math, has spaces for you to write all your numbers, or you can go to my website and I have created a calculator. You can just type your measurements in there and it is going to magically tell you how many strips of fabric you need and how much yardage you need based on whatever width strip you want to do. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do with your quilt or quilted project is to measure it. And you can call either direction, the width and the length. It doesn't make any difference for the math. You can measure it by placing it on your rotary mat and looking at the measurements there. You can use a quilting ruler or you can use a tape measure or whatever else you want. Isn't he cute? So once you get your project measured, then we are going to do some math. And as you know, we're not afraid of math because we sew and there's a lot of math involved and you can use your calculator. So we're going to take our width and our length. And for this placemat, it is 12 by 19. So we're going to put that right there in our measurements. And then we're going to decide how wide we want our binding to be. We're just going to put two and a half because that is very, very standard. So now we have our three measurements and we can do our math. You can either do your math on this worksheet that you can get for free on my website, or you can go to my website and I have a calculator that will take these numbers and whip out all this math for you. But it is good to know what the math is to begin with. So to figure out the binding length, how long you need this strip to be so that you can sew it all the way around, do the corners, and then also attaching it together. So you need a little extra so you can get that together beautifully. So you're gonna do two times the width. Our width is 12. And as I said, it doesn't matter which number you call width and length. And then two times the length. So two times each of those, plus 12. I That's what I add. I've seen it done lots of different ways, even up to 20 inches, but because I do a lot of rounding up, I usually do 12 and it works no problem. So we're going to do two times 19 plus 24, which is two times 12 plus 12 and we get 74 inches. So we need at least 74 inches of binding fabric to bind one placemat. So now we need to figure out, okay, if I need that amount of length, how many strips do I need to cut from my fabric? And remember, we're just gonna be cutting this straight on the grain so it can only be used for a straight edged project, not a circle or major curves. So for this, we're gonna take the binding length, which is 74, and we're gonna divide it by 40. I use 40 because that is a safe bet for any basic fabric. Some are 42 inches wide, some are 44, and then if you pre-shrink, take the selvages off, you can safely assume you're going to get 40 or more. So 74 divided by 40 equals 1.85. Now I always round up to the nearest number of strips because I'm not going to cut 1.85. I'm going to cut two strips, right? So we're going to just do a little arrow and write the number two. Now, how much fabric do I need to get two strips for this quilt project? So you're going to take the number of strips, two, times the width of the strips, two and a half. That's this number up here. And then we're going to divide by 36, which is a yard. So two times two and a half is five divided by 36 equals one, three, eight, 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 eight. So I'm just gonna round it to 0.1389. Well, an eighth of a yard is 0.125. We need more than that. And so we're gonna go with a quarter yard, which is 0.25. So I'm just gonna do an arrow and you can do a quarter or 0.25. So that is how you figure it out. And then over here, it shows you how you're going to be cutting it. You're gonna have your fabric folded. You're going to cut these strips, however many you need for your project, the width of the fabric from fold to selvage. And then you're going to bind that together. But that is a whole other video.